Hey, hope you guys are doing well at Grissom Solo Marketer here. And in this video, I want to quickly show you how to integrate Google Sheets with System.io uh, because as of recording this video, it's been like a week or two where there's actually a direct integration between Google Sheets and System.io. You don't need Zapier, none of that stuff. So this has been like a big favorite in the System.io community uh, to just this feature. This has been one of the what I've seen, one of the bigger favorites as of recently, and I like it as well. It's a really cool feature and makes it much simpler. You don't need any third-party tools. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of shoot a quick update video on how to actually do it. So to make this happen, you will need to do several things. Obviously, you will need to have like a spreadsheet, right, that we're going to be connecting, and obviously a Google like account that, you know, a Google Drive account that the spreadsheet is on. That's kind of obvious. And uh, also you'll need, in this case, we'll use a, an example where there's a, just a basic lead generation page. Let's actually go take a look. It's going to look something like this. It's just going to be a basic page where we select our, that we collect our first name and, and the email. That's pretty much it, right? So we're going to have that. We're going to have the sheet. And then we're going to need to connect it all together. So yeah, the funnel is ready. Let's go create the sheet. So we just have a folder that we're going to be getting the sheet from. Let's just right click or click on new up top Google Sheets. And in this case, since we're collecting only two things, we're going to name them name and email, right? Those are going to be the two data points. So every time somebody, oh, there's my face. Every time somebody fills out a form, system.io will add a new row to the sheet. But now we need to connect those two things together. So let's go to settings over here, settings in our account. And if we scroll down to Google Sheet integration, then up top, integrate your Google account, which is, you know, where that folder is. So let's click on it and let's go and select our account. Let's click on it, click continue and make sure this box is checked in. If this box is checked in, it might not work because it says see, edit, create and delete only the specific Google Drive files use this app. Uh, so basically it gives the permission, right? So obviously check it in, otherwise it's not going to work and click on continue. So as you can see here, it's connected. It's all good. Quick and simple, right? A couple clicks. So now that we have the funnel, we have the spreadsheet that will need to be filled in as they fill out the uh, form. Now we need to set up the automation where every time they fill out the form, the new row gets added with the information that got filled in. It gets added to the sheet. So what we need to do is we need to go to automations, workflows, uh, as of recording this right now, there's no rules. So there's only workflows where this feature works. So let's go to workflows. Let's create a new one. Uh, let's just name it, I don't know, Google Sheet Integration. Did I spell it right? Probably did. Save. And uh, I'm going to activate it right away because I might forget. Status, currently it's inactive. I'm just going to, you can do it after or before. But yeah, I'm just going to activate it right away so I don't forget. Let's click on it. And let's click on the trigger. So the trigger will be once they fill out the form, specific funnel, specific form, funnel, form, subscribed. And the next one is, this is the specific funnel, right? And this is the specific page. So it's the squeeze page, the page that contains those two fields or more fields if it's more, but in this case, it's only two. We're making it simple. Let's click on it. Click on create. And the action, we could click on a plus. The action will be once they fill it out, we need to add a new row to the sheet, to specific sheet. So if you click on it, scroll down, add a new row to a Google Sheet. And in this case, we only have one uh, account integrated. I think you have multiple. Don't quote me on that. But if obviously, if there's a selection, then maybe there's like you can add several and then select one. But in this case, there's only one account uh, integrated. And we have to select the file, which is the one we created at the beginning of the video. And uh, sheet one, in this case, that's basically like here at the bottom, there can be multiple sheets. So we have to select the right one, right? But in this case, it's only one. So it's pretty simple, but we still have to kind of clarify that. So let's go back. And in this case, we need to connect the name and email fields from the form. So let's click on name. Uh, let's click on, where is it? Contact fields, first name over here. Let's click on it and email. It was contact email. That's it. You can technically add more, uh, like in the system.io documentation that showed, like you can have, for example, a column that says full name, and then you can have two fields here, first name and last name, for example, right? But this one, um, this one will keep it really simple. So let's click on create. Uh, so that's created. Let's exit. It's all activated. I guess we can go test it out and see whether it works. 
So as you can see right now, the sheet is empty. So let's go into funnel. Let's just open the page and let's fill it out. All right, we filled it out. Let's click on submit. This is just basic template. This is not a real funnel, but yeah, we filled it out and let's go to the sheet. There we go. This is all good. As you saw, there's nothing before we filled it out. There's data now in here. Sometimes uh, it might glitch out a couple of problems that I personally had. Maybe there's more, but you know, it's still a new feature. So there might be some issues. Uh, the workflow sometimes let's go click on in it. I don't know if I'll be able to recreate it, but let's click on it with these fields. Sometimes I started like playing around with stuff. And as I clicked this, oh no, this I didn't need. Let's go delete it. And then I kind of, I deleted everything, right? And now, okay, let's put the name field back in. And as I try to put it back in, uh, sometimes it just doesn't let me. You just click on it and it either doesn't let me put it in there or it does and I update it and I go back and it doesn't show up. So there might be cases like that, like it glitches out, it doesn't add, so always double check, right? Sometimes it does that. So what I do, uh, if it glitches out, if it doesn't let you do exactly this, I just go out, I just delete the workflow, start it off again, right? It's just a couple clicks, so it's nothing too, it's not too much work, but it, there might be some slight glitches when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind in case. But uh, yeah, th I don't think, were there any other big issues? I don't think there are any other big ones. This was the like the glaring one that I had actually had to uh, email support to kind of make sure that I'm doing things correctly. But if you just like click by click, as I showed, if it didn't work the first time, like this specific part, just delete the workflow, create it again. Maybe by the time you see this video, there's no glitches, but in this case, it worked all fine. It was all good, but you know, just so you know, there might be such an issue, but yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below, obviously make sure to like subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And, uh, yeah, there's probably going to be some more system.io videos showing up on the screen. Go check those out, how to, how to utilize system.io to the best of your abilities. This is like what a lot of this channel is about system.io, just a free tool that you can use for your online business. It's really convenient. It's really beginner friendly. So make sure to go check those out. Yeah. If you don't have any questions, then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.